Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this video, we're going to be going over the published shortcuts for version 2.8 beta, or 2.80 beta, as some are saying. Ready? Let's go. Now, the first thing I want to assume in this video is that you have not touched any of the stuff on the splash screen. So do not mess with select with or or the spacebar. They'll probably still work with this, but I can't guarantee that. So I'm leaving this here at left and spacebar at play. With that, here we go. Number one, we have this menu over here, but we can call this menu up anywhere in the screen by just hitting shift and spacebar. That calls this up anywhere we are. So if you want any of these tools, wherever you are, and you haven't gotten used to other keyboard shortcuts for all this stuff yet, you can always call this up by just calling right here. And then you could hit any one of these shortcuts. Number two, the pie menu. Anywhere I am, I hit control tab and I get the pie menu. So I can go into any one of these modes right from the pie menu by moving my mouse over, or I can hit any one of these keyboard shortcuts. So if I want to go into edit, I can either go over here and click or I can hit number six on the keyboard. Same thing if I want to go to object mode, I can click on there or I can hit four on the keyboard and I'm back in object mode. So go in, play with that. It's pretty cool. It's very useful. Number three, F keys. So F2 calls up the file context menu. So instead of dragging your mouse all the way up here, you can hit F2 and go into the file. So new, open, link, append, import, export. Okay, or you can use these keyboard shortcuts if new, control N, or open, control O. It tells you right here. So F3 calls up the help. All right, and you click off of it and it's gone. And F4 calls up the window context menu. So instead of moving your mouse up here to window, anywhere you are, hit F4, and you can get access to the window. All right, so if you want to hit preferences, there's your shortcut to preferences. Number four, select all. If you hit A on the keyboard, you automatically select everything. Number five, deselect all. If you hit Alt A while you're in here, you deselect everything. Number six, toggling select all or deselect all. So if you have everything selected and you hit A twice, you deselect everything. Okay? Even if everything is selected, you hit A twice, deselect everything. Number seven, the space bar. The space bar now by default plays the animation. You see it going down here playing the animation. That's what Spacebar does by default. You can change that in the splash screen, but we didn't at the beginning of the video, so that's what Spacebar does right now. Number eight, reverse animation. If you hit Control, Shift, Space while you're in here, Control, Shift, Space, it plays the animation in reverse. So this is good for when you're animating and you want to play something in reverse. Control, Shift, Space. Got it? Good. Next. Number nine, Maximize area with control space. Control space maximizes your area, gets rid of these windows over here and menus. Control space again, brings it back. Control space, get rid of. Control space, bring it back. Number 10, full screen. Control alt space goes full screen. Control alt space brings it back. Control alt space, full screen. Control alt space, back. Number 11. Next and previous workspace. You can cycle through these workspaces by hitting control page up or control page down and you'll cycle through these workspaces. Not the most comfortable keyboard shortcut I admit, but it's there if you want it. Number 12, 3D views pie menu. If you hit the tilde key, which is next to the one on the keyboard, you get the pie menu for the 3D view. And you can go in here and you can change the different views. So if I want the left view, front view, top view, back view, right view, view selected. So if I have something selected here and I hit view selected, that zooms in. Okay, and I can always just zoom back out. So that's the tilde key, pie menu. Use it, it's cool. Number 13, the manipulator handle. This works if you're actually on something and you have the manipulator handle on, okay? So you're using one of these. You can hit control tilde, or as they call it, accent grave in the manual here, control tilde to turn on the manipulator or off the manipulator. 
So sometimes your manipulator might be gone and you're like, I don't understand where it went. Okay, this is kind of more of a troubleshooting thing. Try hitting control tilde and it probably will come back. Okay, number 14 is sh the fly mode. So shift tilde or accent grave now works in fly mode. So if you hit shift tilde, you get this, uh, you don't click. You drag your mouse and it's kind of like a first person shooter like a video game with a mouse. All right. So your A key goes left, D key goes right, S key goes out, W key goes in, E key goes up, and Q key goes down. All right. So go in and play with this one. You'll, you'll get used to it. If you use it at all, you'll get used to it. And it's, uh, it's kind of fun. So hopefully you got something out of this video and it helps clarify some of the stuff that's new and some of the stuff that's not so new to 2.8 and um, this can prove as a little reference for your keyboard shortcut. Also I had published in the community section of my channel uh, for subscribers there's the whole list of these in a, in a written form so you can go print it out and use it you know tape it to the side of your keyboard and have it help you out. Okay like always the comment section is open so you know have at it. Try, try, to, try to be nice. But uh, <laughs> other than that, hopefully this helped. Subscribe, hit like, hit that little bell notification so you see more of these videos as I produce them, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.